We're going to look at a quick example here of a story problem that uses logs. This problem says the pH of a fruit juice is 2.8. Find the hydronium ion concentration, which is H3O plus of the juice. Use the formula pH equals negative or the opposite of log H3O plus. So in order to do that, we're just going to take the formula and first let's make sure we understand it. We've got pH there and then we've got this H3O plus over here which represents the hydronium ion concentration. Really what we have is two variables. It looks like a whole bunch of letters like P and H and H and O and but it's only two variables. The pH is one thing, one number, one value, which we know, 2.8, so we can plug that in actually, 2.8, that's the pH. And then we've got the opposite of the log of this business right here, which is what we're trying to find. Now, just for the sake of simplicity, let's go ahead and assign this a variable that's a little more uh, concise, let's say. So let's assign what we're looking for, um, the variable, oh, I don't know, how about, we'll just say y, just to not confuse it with anything. So let's say y. So we'll put y in there. Okay. So now we need to solve this equation. 2.8 equals negative log y. And once we figure out what y is, then we'll know um, what the value that we're looking for. Okay, the first thing when you're solving an equation with a log in it is you want to get the log of the value by itself. So we need to get rid of this negative sign, and we can do that pretty easily by multiplying or dividing both sides by negative 1. I'll go ahead and uh, show that step with a division. It doesn't matter which one you do, or some of you can just do this in your head. So this makes this side negative 2.8, and now we've got log y on the right hand side. I don't really need these brackets anymore. We were using the brackets because we had the H3O plus and lots of um, symbols there but with just Y you can drop the bracket. Now the next thing we need to know is that this log right here doesn't have a base. There's no base written. Usually or sometimes there's a base written right here but there's nothing written. What is the base when there's nothing written? It's 10. When there's nothing written, it's called the common log, and that's base 10. So you need to know that that base is actually 10. Now, when you're solving an equation like this, what you have to do is change it from exponential form to log form. Or, excuse me, from log form to exponential form. It's in log form right now. So we need to change that to exponential form, which means we're going to take our base, which is 10, and 10 is going to go to this power, negative 2.8, and it's going to equal y. That's how you change from log form to exponential form. So this log form is equivalent to 10 to the negative 2.8 equals y. Well, we pretty much have this solved, right? We've got y by itself. y equals 10 to the negative 2.8. And that's a good answer. That That's our value. But it's not the best answer because we have something to a decimal power and um, that's not really the best way to write it. So what we're going to do is we're going to write it in scientific notation and we're going to use our calculator to help us. We're going to find the value for 10 to the negative 2.8 by simply plugging it in. 10 to the 2.8 negative equals and you know your calculator might be different than this but you should come up with this decimal right here. Now I'm not going to write out that whole decimal, but let's write out a few places. 0 0.00158. 0 0.00158. And we know that's approximately y. So to write this in scientific notation, we need to move the decimal until there's only one significant digit to the uh, left of the decimal. And where to round this can be a little tricky, but this value that we have right here, the 2.8, has only got one number to the right of the decimal, so we should write this number uh, the same way. So I'm going to round this to one point something. That 8's going to round that 5 up to a 6. 
and in scientific notation then that would be <clears throat> 1.6 times 10 to the negative third power because we moved it three places to the right so that's a negative exponent because it's it's a small number and if you if you need help with scientific notation I have a couple videos on scientific notation with big numbers and scientific notation with small numbers on my on my channel so if this step right here is confusing you probably want to go watch um, the videos on scientific notation but that's it that's our answer we're solved for y we're in the proper notation so these last three steps right here were really about or two steps we're really about writing our answer in the correct form as of that step right there we pretty much had the value of y we could get it in a decimal then we could write it in scientific notation and we're just messing with it to get it in a form that's 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 the most proper we'll say and so this depends on your instructor and and the situation and how you need that result shown maybe you just need the decimal then then the second to the last step is good if you need it in scientific notation then you're gonna have to go to this final step that we have shown here well I hope that helps and uh, have fun with logs